Welcome to Excel in a minute. The index function returns the value of a given position within a range. In our index array form video, we showed how the function works with one array. This time let's use several arrays. How? By using the index reference form. Before we begin, here's a refresher. Array refers to the range of cells you supply to the index function. This is where it will look for the row number and column number of the value you want it to return. Now if you are using the reference form, there is an additional parameter called area number. This argument locates which among your arrays you want to use as reference. Let's do an example. In this data, we have three tables of Olympics tracker representing different years. Table 1 for 2010, 2 for 2011, and 3 for 2012. On the table below, we have set up a drop-down list that will automatically supply the parameters for the index function. Alright, let's start with an equals index. Inside a parenthesis, let's then select our three arrays. Let's add our row number, column number and area number. Then, enter. For this example, we looked for the total number of medals Russia has garnered in 2012 getting the return value of 28. Now what if we want to know the value for 2010? To do that, simply change the area number to 1 since 2010 belongs to table 1. There you have it. Russia garnered a total of 56 medals in 2010. In using the area number, remember that the sequence starts with the first array you select. Before you begin exploring the index reference form, take note that for this example we have automated the parameters using the match function however, you can also manually input it in the formula. Thank you for your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel in a minute. You may also check out the link below to download the presentation. We hope to see you in the next lesson.